Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. I'm Jessica. From the Balanced Real Estate Team. In today's video, we'll talk about what you need to do now that you purchased your new home. Remember, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time we post a new one. Let's get started with the 17 things you should do when moving into your home. Number one, this is so important, have the home deep clean. We recommend to our buyers that if they don't have to be in the house right away, get the house deep cleaned so they're not living in someone else's dirt. Get the carpets, tiles, floors, showers, windows, tile floors, everything clean and ready for you. Number two, start the utilities in your name. We always recommend to our buyers that they call the utility companies five days prior to closing escrow and get the utilities put in their name the day of closing. This is important in the summertime so you can have air conditioning in the wintertime so you can have heat in your round so your toilets can flush. Number three, if you have a cluster mailbox, get it rekeyed. That way no one has access to your mail except for you and the post office. Number four, secure your house. This means rekey the locks on the doors, which is usually less expensive than replacing all the locks. But you could also replace your locks, update the keypads like the garage keypad, the entry door keypad, and then change the codes for your remote and any other remotes that you have for the house. Number five, secure all your closing documents in a safe place, like a safe or a locked up cabinet, or put them in a safety deposit box. Keep HOA documents handy so you can look up contact names and numbers and rules and regulations. We can't tell you how many times clients ask us for these documents a year or more after closing. These documents are filed with our real estate brokerage in microfiche format, and we don't have access to all those documents. Number six, update your auto insurance. You should do this before closing on your house. This is important because your auto insurance is based on the zip code where your car is being parked overnight, and it may be cheaper than where you moved from. Update your driver's license and voter registration as well. Your bank needs to know where your new address is, and so does your former employer for all the items that may be delivered to your new home, like 1099s or other documents. And most importantly, make sure you update your address on your Amazon account. <laughs> Let your friends and relatives know that you've moved because people want to know where you are. They may want to send you a birthday card, a Christmas card, or maybe even a housewarming gift. Number seven, meet your neighbors and others in the community. This is important because you want to know who's living around you. You may want to make friends just in case there's something going on at your property when you're not around and they can watch out for you. Number eight, locate the main water shutoff. Most people have no idea that is an important thing to know. If you have a pipe burst in the house, that's the first thing that you need to know is where that main shutoff is so you can turn off the water and limit any damage. Number nine, program your thermostat so you're comfortable and energy efficient. Program your outdoor lights as well. Number 10, change your air filters and smoke detector batteries and then make a note to change them again in about six months. Number 11, check the hot water heater and check the temperature. So if you're living with somebody young or maybe somebody young at heart, they may require that the temperature for the hot water not be quite so hot. So you'll wanna make sure that temperature is set appropriately. Something else you may wanna do is drain the water heater. This will help your hot water heater run more efficiently and possibly extend the life of your water heater. Number 12, hire vendors or service providers to help with your home. So this would be a pest control company, landscapers, appliance repair people, plumbers, or other professionals to assist with taking care of your home. As your agent, we keep a list of vendors and we provide to you at close of escrow. Number 13, now that you've got a new home, let's make it new for you. Consider a fresh coat of paint, updating the hardware and the doors, and maybe new plumbing fixtures or light fixtures for the bathrooms. Number 14, start a home maintenance checklist. There are things that have to be done periodically, and a list is a good way for you to keep track of the things that have to be done and when. Number 15, investigate new home technology like a Nest thermostat 
or maybe a ring doorbell system or cameras on the exterior of the home. Whatever you need to feel safe in your home. There's so much technology available today. There are even light bulbs that are Wi-Fi enabled. And there are all kinds of apps that allow you to control everything from your phone. Number 16, research tax deductions. There are lots of tax deductions that may be right for you. For example, there are tax deductions if you are a veteran or if you are handicapped. Consult your tax professional and call your local assessor's office to see what you might qualify for. Number 17, Enjoy your new home. You've worked hard and you've achieved your goal. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, please subscribe and watch our other videos. Are you thinking about moving to the Prescott area or planning a trip to see if it's the right place for you? We can help you get to know the place we call home. If you already live in the Prescott area and are considering a move, we can help you get to where you want to be. Start your search for your Prescott area home by visiting prescottrealestateandliving.com. You can also find your Prescott area home's value there too. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and help others find this information. We post home tours, neighborhood tours, buyer and seller tips and tricks, real estate sales stats, the best things to do in Prescott, and much more. Check the comments below for our contact information and to request buyer and seller guides or a relocation package. Feel free to comment on this video or ask questions. We always respond. See you again soon. Bye-bye.